Congratulations on scoring your first ever MLS goal. It's your second year playing professional soccer. Did you feel like this was going to be the game or did this catch you completely by surprise? <laughs> Uh, it actually caught me by surprise. Uh, a friend told me before the game that he thought I was going to score, but considering my history so far in the league, I figured it was a slim chance. But... Wait, why did your friend have the premonition and think you were going to score, yet you didn't believe him? I'm not sure. You know, I, I haven't found myself that far up on the field too often, so, um, you know, it, it surprised me too. So, As a defenseman, do you now try to build off this goal, or do you realize, all right, my primary job is to just play defense and not become a goal scorer. Yeah, I mean, I'm not looking to be the next Bradley Wright Phillips, but um, I definitely think it's something that we could build off of, um, you know, to definitely join into the attack a little bit more and hopefully give the team a little uh, a little more dynamic. Why not? Uh, you guys are now 2-0 against NYC FC, and of course, we're loving that this soccer rivalry is developing, but considering they've never beaten you, or they haven't yet, yeah. can it be a true rivalry? Yeah, I think I think what makes it a rivalry is the the close proximity and and the fans, the passion that the fans have for it. So, um, you know, regardless of the scoreline, it's important to to everyone involved in the in the game. So, uh, it's definitely a growing rivalry. The crowd was unbelievable at Yankee Stadium on Sunday, but there were some bold face names in the stands watching this game. Frank Lampard, Andrea Pirlo, Gareth Bale. Do you ever get nervous? when people are watching you play soccer? No, I think, uh, you know, before games, I definitely get butterflies. And, and I think it's just because I'm excited and, and ready to play and, and I care. So I think uh, it doesn't really matter who's watching. It's, it's just uh, once the game starts, it's you and the ball and, and your friends going out to play. Okay, so you've never gotten nervous with someone in the stands. Flip side, if you could invite anybody to come and watch you play, who would you want? sitting there cheering you on oh that's so tough that's really tough um my family of course i'd love to have them there for every game uh, they don't get to see me play too often but uh i think other than that it would be nice to have thierry back in the stands i think it would be cool to to see him up there watching us play of course Thierry Henry, not not with the red bulls anymore did he ever give you some parting words before he left the team oh yeah he i mean he was very good at helping all the young guys and everybody in general you know he he knows the game and he makes it seem so simple um and so he was really good at just you know imparting knowledge on us this season has been a series of ups and downs for the Red Bulls. Can you take us inside the locker room? How has it been as a player when you guys have been the highest of highs, one of the best teams in MLS, and also had some lows with a losing streak, and now you're back on track? Yeah, I think it's, it's been a little bit of a combination of highs and lows for sure, but it's definitely a, it's a long season. So when we're at our high, we know that you know, we've got to keep our heads level, and, and we know that you know, losses are inevitable you know things happen and you can't be hot forever so you know when we do hit a rough patch like we did you know we knew that we'd get it back and if we just stuck to our game plan and stuck to our style of play and, and believed in it then we'd get back on track all right you'll play the new york cosmos in your next game a little bit of recent history they eliminated the red bulls from the u.s open cup just a year ago does that change the mindset heading into wednesday's game yeah i mean it's definitely a game that we want to win um, a team that took something from us last year, and it's one of our main goals this year to, to come out and win the Open Cup. So we're taking it very seriously, and um, you know, it's, we, we want to beat all the New York teams. We want to beat every team we come across, so I think this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, where do the Cosmos kind of fall in this New York rivalry? Because we know NYCFC and the Red Bulls are developing something really big. Where do the Cosmos fall in that? Um, I mean, it's hard to call it a rivalry. I wouldn't call it a rivalry because I think last year was the first time we've ever played them. Um, but it's, it's definitely important. You know, they beat the other New York team, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So we want to put our stamp on the city and, and show that, you know, that, that we have a little bit of control, hopefully. I like they said the other New York team. Not even going to just say <laughs> the name, just the other New York team. Uh, okay, you're Georgia native. Grew up in the Atlanta area. We can tell from your Twitter feed that you're a big fan of Atlanta area sports. So yeah. which pro team in Atlanta will be the, the first one or the next one to win a championship? The Braves, oh, the man. Falcons, or the Atlanta Hawks? Oh, man, that's tough. 
Uh, I don't keep track of the Braves as much, so I wouldn't really know about them. But uh, I always have hope for my Falcons. I think every year I think they're going to be the best team in the league. And uh, so far I don't think they've won one, but I think they're going to get one soon. Have they ever invited you into camp to maybe help the guys with their footwork, things <laughs> like that? You know, they can learn things from you, Chris. Yeah, no, they definitely haven't invited me in. <laughs> and I don't think I see that in my future. Um, if there's not a soccer ball at my feet, I'm not sure I'm, I'm the person that they'd want to work with their footwork. Chris, congratulations on your first MLS goal. We know it was a big thrill for you. It was a really fun one to watch as well as fans. And good luck against New York Cosmos and the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.